Well, let's take our Bibles to 1 Corinthians 6, verse number 19. And it may come up as a very familiar passage, and I hope so anyway. And it's promise number 293. And here's the promise. Uh, God promises that he's given us his spirit so our body could be his temple. Now, I know that you probably never heard it worded that way before, but I just wanted to give you the idea that, that, that the Holy Spirit himself is not the only part of the blessing. What's really happening here is that the Holy Spirit of God comes in and he's cleaning house to make the temple that we have a more suitable place for the almighty God of the universe to take up its residency. Now, he comes in immediately. Don't misunderstand. But listen, this promise is very interesting. It would be easy to conclude that, like I said, the Holy Spirit is the promise. Uh, but what is really being said is that the Spirit of God works in our bodies to create the temple, uh, our God, uh, for our God to reign in a holy place for genuine worship of God and relational closeness to Him. Think about this. We want to have relational closeness to God and have our worship be clean and as clean as it can be. And we want to be a worthy vessel uh, that contains the Spirit of God. And so the Spirit of God comes in knowing what He's getting into. He knows that we are a, a sinner saved by grace that we have just gone from not honoring the Lord to a place where we're trying and hoping to honor the Lord. And so there's this, there's this change of authority. And so there's a redecorating process of the temple of our minds and our hearts. And, and it's a beautiful thing that God is, is going on. And so, so listen, um, if we don't have this relational closeness to him, uh, I mean, think of previously it was unavailable. Now we want to have a continued closeness to him. And that requires housekeeping. That requires temple cleansing. And uh, don't you realize what is happening here? God is setting up his reign in us. Um, he, he isn't here uh, to make all our earthly goals happen. That's not what the Spirit of God is for. It's not supposed to be some some Holy Spirit high where we get a lot of goosebumps and, and a whole bunch of feelings-based stuff. Although, man, it, it, the, the closeness to the Lord will evoke some strong emotional response. Uh, but that's not the point. A strong emotional response is not the point of the Spirit filling. Closeness to God is the, the, is the goal. And he's housekeeping or house cleaning or temple cleansing for the dwelling place of God to be that much more effective from us and even in us. And listen, he's trying, uh, he's trying to, to um, make us, uh, he's not trying to make us rich and famous. He's, he's here to fix what sin has destroyed. Think about it. sin has broken down this body and the Holy Spirit of God coming in is building up a temple to the most high God. And that's the spirit's job. He wants to work in us to restore us. And so we are made to worship the Lord. We're no longer, we no longer have authority over our lives. Once we accept God's offer of salvation and forgiveness, God's spirit comes in and guides us into authentic relationship with him. And so that's the beauty of what's happening here. We can't settle for just being saved. I mean, yes, of course, being saved is eternally significant. Don't misunderstand. But what has been granted to us should cause us to say, okay, God, if you're willing to go that far for me, take me as far as you want to go. Most people are saying, God, I just need some strength to go chase my own dreams. We're not here to chase our own dreams. I think that that's an American thing that believes that everything is about me fulfilling all of my dreams. In fact, we even have it as part of our motto. We are free to choose uh, to, to pursue happiness. Uh, in, the, in the recent years, uh, people have tried to make it a right to happiness. There is no right to happiness. Uh, there is only the right to pursue it. But I think we've turned that pursuit of happiness into God's will for us, when actually God's will is that we live righteously and holy before him in a close relationship to him, and then never being satisfied with distance, always longing for more, allowing the Spirit of God to, to make the changes and clean and cleanse the temple of our bodies so that as the Lord dwells in us, he is more and more comfortable in our lives. Let that be your hope. Let that be your prayer. God, do a work of cleansing of this temple as I live out my life. Have a great day.